In our last video, we showed you how we began building our battery bank for our food truck by measuring the amperage of all the equipment running. Based upon that, we sized up a battery bank and built a box to hold all the batteries. And then we began building the cables and wiring everything together. We were able to get our system up and running, but the following day the temperature soared to over 80 degrees and our system went into a shutdown after only one hour of operation. In a classic example of measure twice and cut once, the amp meter was now showing 20 amps because all of the equipment had to work considerably harder to keep everything cold once the temperatures rose. And upon measuring a third time we found that the amp meter actually peaked at approximately 25 amps. This really rained on our parade and it was time to go back to the drawing board. While Matt went and started calculating how many batteries we would need, I just began building a box to make maximum use of the space behind the driver's seat of the food truck. Eight batteries wired in a parallel series combination. There are six volt batteries at 215 amp hours, which is going to give us 24 volts at approximately 430 amp hours. Uh, we're running our battery bank to our 24 volt DC to 120 volt AC inverter. Off of our inverter, we're running up into our main panel, and that's going to power our truck. Let's roll. So Inverter on. And now, main breaker. That's power, baby. We are up. With the battery bank and electrical equipment wired, we were under the gun to try and finish the installation because the truck had a gig the next day. Once I got everything bolted together, I was pretty well exhausted, but I had enough time to cut this video together for the crew. First thing you notice is that uh, your seat looks a little different than it used to. Don't panic. Don't worry. It's all well enclosed. Just don't open the box or stick your finger in that little hole right there or anything like that. Try not to drop pens or anything in there. Uh, you'll remember what you had to do before. You had to unload this generator uh, and uh, go ahead and fire that up, plug it into the side of the truck and it was kind of a buzzkill. So now what you're going to do instead is you're going to sit down in the driver's seat. You're going to reach over to this little switch right here. And you're going to press that button. And that is how you turn everything on. Before the crew left, I decided to put some great stuff fire block in between the batteries and the box. This would provide an added level of protection and security for the batteries so they wouldn't bounce around while going down the street. I also wanted to do everything I could to ensure that the wires didn't get too hot, so I decided to cover those with fire block as well. 
the key differentiator between most applications in the food truck is kitchen grease. You'll note that there's a small vent by the front of the seat, so I used that piece of PVC to make sure that we were drawing clean, fresh air into the box. Our inaugural launch of the system went rather well. It lasted for approximately four hours before the crew experienced premature shutdowns. We also received two chargers from Granger that were listed on their website as 60 amp chargers, but in reality they were only 5 amp chargers. This meant it would take approximately 48 hours to charge our battery bank, and that's unacceptable. For more information on how we overcame these issues, please check out our next video. Thank you.